Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we got Containment Station, Suicidal Gunslinger. I know we just won that last Hell on Earth run as Commando, and I know I've said that I have to do Hell on Earth because of YouTube n nonsense, but honestly, moving up to Hell on Earth is just not very viable for me right now. I know I've done several weeks of it, um, but it's, it's just completely not viable. As much as I wish it was, um, I can get the wins, I can do it, but the, the main issue for me is the amount of time it takes. Like that spike in recording time, for one, and then all of the deaths that I have to throw off because there's so many failures that I'm not going to upload because ultimately you guys want to see some wins now and then, right? You guys don't always want to see failures and losses, even though you're probably watching for, for mostly for the, the rambling and nonsense and the uh, gabbing whatever it's called you're probably mostly watching for that rather than I mean, that's the goal of this entire channel this entire thing right is for people to be watching for the uh, for the commentary rather than the gameplay anyway but I mean, you guys probably still want to see wins every now and then so just from an entertainment perspective it's probably better for me to move down to suicidal um, from recording time it takes me less time to record it I die a lot so you guys have to see uh, either a bunch of losses or I have to spend you know 30 40 minutes to get a single episode recorded which is just not very viable so we're moving to suicidal again even at the the cost of my my YouTube analytics we're moving to, to suicidal I don't like it um, and honestly it feels pathetically easy relative to, to what I've been doing but it's just it's, it's gonna be better for for my personal um, mental health it's just I've been recording for the past hour and this is the second video right like it's it, it's it's a problem the first video I recorded almost first try you know I did have like the first one that went like a wave or half a wave and then uh, fail and then I recorded the uh, the second one that ended up uh, dying but I kept that in the episode, right? I think. Didn't I? I think I did. Um, so that, that ended up working out fine. And the second one, it's just taken me such a long time to get to finally recording this one. It's been over, it's been an hour. And I'm finally recording the, the second episode that's actually gonna go live. So it's gonna be another like 15 minutes from now before the episode is actually done. It's, it's just, that's a long time to spend on each episode. Um, and I, I put up some of the failures, but a lot of them I don't really want to put up because Again, you guys probably want to see a win every now and then, at least, right? So. We're making the move back to Suicidal. I don't like doing it, but uh, it's just it's what's got to be done. So, anyway, enough about that. On to some, some more important stuff. Like, I was watching my videos back, and commentary, on point. I really enjoyed some of the episodes last week. Um, I think that I was I was doing pretty good on the commentary side of things. I think it was pretty good. Uh, but the one thing, if I had to pick one thing from my videos that I would like to improve, and it's it's not even a hard thing to pick. It's not even it's not even remotely hard to pick. It would definitely have to be that um, there's just this like bit rate artifacting on the videos, right? And on my side, the videos that I'm recording do not have that. They are recorded pretty much raw. Like they are huge file sizes, big bit rate. There is there is no artifacting at all. The issue is YouTube going through, compressing the videos, you know, doing all of that that uh, is causing all the issues. Um, and that's just kind of depressing because I put a lot of time and effort into making sure that these videos are the best quality they can be from like at least an audio visual perspective you know putting aside the content the uh, I, I work very hard to make sure that the content looks and sounds acceptable right I don't have the money to invest in like super fancy recording setups or anything like that but I do I do everything that I can to make it as good as it can be right and then YouTube comes in and they're like <laughs> how about, how about we just get rid of all that? 
How about we just say bye bye? So it's it's really really frustrating. Um, if there were another option for me to use instead of YouTube, I totally would do that. Uh, and there are uh, the YouTube has competitors. People say that YouTube doesn't have competitors. It does. Um, there are people who choose to use other services, like other video hosting services besides YouTube. They do have competitors. Um, it's just that you, when you when you think of a competition, right? You're thinking, okay, um, you know, Killing Floor versus Left for Dead, kind of thing, right? Like those, that's competition. Um, you're thinking Call of Duty versus Battlefields, right? That's competition, and both of them have these huge player bases. They're both um, thriving, and they both want to take each other's customers, right? But when it comes to YouTube and like Daily Motion or whatever the other one is, um, the, it's like you got a battlefield and then some random like mom and pop shop, right? Like you got Walmart and then like your corner store, right? It, it's competition, sure, but Walmart doesn't really care about your, your local corner store and YouTube doesn't really care about your local Daily Motion or Vimeo or whatever, right? I mean, they're just, they're just so much bigger than that, so people don't think of it as competition. But they have competition. Um, they're just not as good. Which is why people don't use it, and which is why I'm not going to use it. And it kind of sucks. Kind of kind of really sucks, because uh, I wish they had some competition, and I wish there was reason for me to move somewhere else. But ultimately, if I go somewhere else, if I go to... You know, okay, sure, I move to, to Vimeo, right? I don't know what the, the bitrate is over there, but let's say they have higher bitrate, right? Whatever they're doing differently, they have they have higher bitrate. I upload the videos there, it looks better. I move over there, I have videos, they look better. The, view, the, the, the user base is so much smaller that even though, perhaps, you know, I have a higher quality video, I'm not getting more satisfied viewers because the viewers are just not there. Um, so... It's not like I really have anywhere else that I can go. Which makes it kind of a monopoly, which kind of defeats the whole thing I was saying about how they have competition. But... They do have comp- People do go elsewhere. They choose not to use YouTube and they choose to use other things in place of YouTube and... To me, that's kind of needlessly bottlenecking your, yourself. Because, I mean, YouTube is such a prominent part of our lives these days. Anyway, the moral of the story is... My, uh, my, my bit rate kind of sucks and I wish there was something I could do about it. So, one thing that I'm going to work on is, uh... I'm going to try and see if I can't get the videos to be uploaded in 4K. So just 1080p, but like, 4K, right? It'll, it'll say that it's 4K, the bit rate will be good, but ultimately it'll still be a 1080p stream, right? Like the, the, it'll still be 1080p, it'll just be higher bitrate 1080p. Because when you go to 4K video, the bitrate goes up on YouTube. When you're watching at 1080p, the bitrate of 1080p is still 1080p. Like, it's still that bitrate. It's like 6 megabit per second or something like that for 60 frames per second. I record at 20 for, for reference. Um, and uh, when, you, when you go up to 4K, that, that number jumps up when you're watching at 4K. So I've been thinking I might try and record at, like, upscale the video to 4K. Like just a, a nearest neighbor kind of thing. Um, just so that the video looks exactly the same at 4K as it does at 1080p, but YouTube is okay with playing it at a higher bitrate. Because uh, that's, that's the one thing that kind of annoys me. The other thing that I might try, which I'm not going to do this week, but I am going to do next week. And this whole 4K thing isn't going to happen this week either, probably. Um, It'll probably happen next week, unless I can make it happen this week, which maybe, but I don't think I will. Uh, anyway, um, the other thing that I might try is to record in 30 FPS instead of 60, because ultimately the 60 FPS looks better. And when you go up to 60 FPS, YouTube does also put the bitrate up, but I don't think they put it up enough, you know? So I might try recording at 30 FPS and then do like a similar thing where I just kind of like not interpolate, but just double the frames. So it's a 60 FPS video, but there's only 30 unique frames per second. 
and then the, that can get compressed down to very easily and then uh, you'd have the higher bit rate to kind of make up for all these artifacting and whatnot which is super super annoying at the moment Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes, but... I'm, uh, I'm not hope- I'm not holding out hope too much for it. But it's just, it's kind of- it's kind of annoying to see that. There was one other thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. Oh, right, yeah. But, I, I remembered it, but I'm- I'm gonna talk about it next episode, because we're pretty much done with this one. See if we can kill this guy without taking any damage at all. That'd be kind of cool, eh? It's come from like hell and earth having so much trouble. Nope. Oh boy, that was like close. So far it's going okay. We're, we're not looking too bad for the, the zero damage dream here. You know? We got the speed of the gunslinger, so... Anything we want to do, we can do pretty much. It's funny coming from the Hell on Earth where you're having so much trouble to now this uh, suicidal where I'm not even taking damage on the boss fight at all. You know, like that that difference in performance is kind of uh, incredible. He also is not lasering, which is very strange. I have not had a single laser from him so far. Oh, that explosion hits me? Come on. I'm not counting that as damage. Okay, we'll see if we can do this. Look at that. No damage King Flush Pound fight. I mean, I was playing as the Gunslinger, so maybe I'm cheating, but... And I'm also on Suicidal, so maybe I'm cheating, but... <laughs> Still, hey, you know? Why not, right? It's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> uh... Here's all of the weird things that people might or might not care about. Look at that. 15 slashers, 41 cysts, 1 king flesh pound. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.